it was very crazy. You know, I got off to a great start, so um, you know, I just I kind of panicked a little bit because uh, I was in the race with those guys. So you know, I just I just got back to my composure and, and tried to finish strong. And I, I realized in the middle of the race I was in like fifth or sixth place. And then you know, I said just forget my hamstring. I just if, if I heard it, I just heard it. And um, I came out. With third place. Knowing even that, you know, pushing yourself to that limit, does that tell you that there's a lot more left? Yeah, it tells me to hold on to the you know, um, I set out last week to, to try to get my hamstring back together. Um, it was fine until um, the semifinal. So, you know, just did a little exercise on it just to um, just to get through this race. And I got through the race and got third, so I was just, I'm amazed about that. Right? Lots of words right now. How under wrecking was that? Waiting to see your name if you're in the third spot. Um, I, I had a feeling that I got there because um, when I made the take, I looked to the side and it was I seen uh, Mike Rogers, but you know I feel like I was in front of him a little bit more, a little bit more. So you know, but, but waiting for that it was it was crazy because um, this is something I, I'm making steps towards. This. This is of a second. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so you know, I feel like I'm just blessed to make it. You know, I feel like um, I have a lot in front of me, so I'll be ready by the time I'm over. How much confidence does it give you to beat a number of guys you did beat? I mean, so close to, to, to the top of the world. Um, it gives me a whole lot. It gives me a lot of confidence. So, you know, I just, I just. I want to make sure I, I keep my composure and keep my humbleness and, uh, and the hunger for me to fight to, to try to be the best in my stage. Peeking through the curtain, you were on the phone with someone smiling. I mean, like, who was that phone call? I mean, what were the first words that? <laughs> that was my mom. You know, uh, she's she's been my my number one fan through the whole ride here. You know, through the two ACL injuries and stuff like that. So you know, it's just I, I feel like she's my angel. You know, my guardian angel. You know, she played for me and stuff like that. So. I just love him. That'd be the first person I call every time. <laughs> so you mentioned two ACL injuries. I mean, the comeback. I mean, I mean, at what point did you uh, think, picking things, I mean, picking things up, and getting here? Was that? Uh, you know, it, it was a four-year process. You know, uh, my first year at TCU, uh, it, didn't, it didn't turn out as well. My first two years at TCU didn't turn out well. So I started catching on last year, and you know, I got better through the year all this year. So, you know. I, the, the goal was to just to win every race. Don't worry about time. Just try to win every race and time will show. You know, basically, this is my first, my, my second hundred I lost all year. And, um, and, and that was two pros when I lost this year. So.